Okay, we're giving out the uh, gazpacho, mm -hmm. which is uh, smoked basil, pepper, and tomato gazpacho. That is, we have a pepper sorbet. We have some pepita seeds right here. We have a nice uh, avocado tartare. It's got garlic, avocado, tomatoes, some nice uh, Spanish onion. This is one of our uh, most selling dishes today. It, it could be one of the New Haven's best dish, that's what they're saying. So let's see what happens. And uh, I have a little bit of uh, jalapeno infused cilantro oil that goes as a dressing. Right there. Right there. Right there. The spudge is basically a chill soup, uh, more in its Latin world. I have a Mexican touch to this with the jalapenos, cilantro, avocado, and the way it's done is uh, just so it takes it around, pulls it around the dish like this. It's beautiful color, perfect for this beautiful summer, afternoon, spring. The bowl's nice and chilled. I mean, it's, it's the best thing you could have uh, in New Haven on a hot day. And today is a beautiful sunny day. That's our seafood. Uh, uh, that's our seafood grilled salad. We have a uh, uh, lobster claw, nice big shrimp, and a little bit of scallop, uh, lime citronette, some arugula, beautiful avocados there. Okay, Marco, pick up three uh, gazpacho. I mean, this is directly imported from Mexico. Uh, this. This is what Oaxaca is known for. It's, it's a great, beautiful uh, cheese. I love this cheese. And uh, this is used in uh, several of our dishes. And it's a typically a nice uh, string cheese. It's made out of beautiful bands. So you start pulling it off somewhere in, in the center and then it keeps coming off. Let's see how beautiful this thing is. It's like a mozzarella. Yeah. And and that's that's the uh, queso of Oaxaca. They're, they're known for their cheese. I was in love with this while I was traveling to Oaxaca. I said I gotta get this cheese in New Haven, and we have it today. It's done with jumbo and blue crab, and uh, some nice shrimp in there. And it's done with some nice uh, citric sauces in there. It's been marinating for three days at least, and it goes in a beautiful. Uh, uh, glass. Another thing with ceviche is like you want to keep this dish cold, so I have a mango lime sorbet in this too. And then we dress it up with some spicy olives. And also it gets a little bit of uh, nice salts of uh, papaya and mango. So now this is going to burst with flavors. Can you pick this up for 60 for me, please? Yeah.